It's time to talk about layout, starting using the stack layout, knowing first of all what are the layout and why we need to use them. So we're going to use this sample to know why we need to use this layout. We have here an application, a .NET MAUI application running, where we have used an empty content page. Every content page has a really important property that is the content property. This content property accepts one children of type view. So could be any kind of um, control from .NET MAUI, like for example, a label. So we can create a label, setting the text, for example, label and saving the application and running hot reload, shaman hot reload, we can see this label here on the screen. But if we want to use set this as the first label and we want to create a second label, we get an error here because we are setting the content property more than once. We are setting two children to the content page directly and that is not possible. Also, how we can arrange and set the correct position of every label in the screen, how we can set the correct size of every label in the screen. Okay, let's start talking about .NET MAUI layout. So the motivation to use layout is used to have a way to calculate the view size and position in the user interface. Also, this layout will help us to adapt the user interface to different conditions, like for example, different screen dimensions or resolutions, or for example, when the device rotates or other kind of stuff like this. In .NET MAUI, we have different layouts. A layout is a container that determines the size and the position of the collection of child elements. We have really, really basic and useful layouts. The most useful and common use layouts are the stack layout and the grid. But then we have more layouts like absolute layout, relative layout. Also, we have, for example, a flex layout in the community toolkit we have even more layouts like a doc layout etc etc probably you will find a core layout in every specific case for your application we are going to talk about stack layout today so what is a stack layout the stack layout arrange the children in a single column or a single row so it uh, stack the children vertically or horizontally the stack layout contains a collection of child views. The main property is the children, but then we need to uh, have a way to organize the children in different ways. So how we can add children to the stack layout? First of all, we can add or remove children in the stack layout in c -sharp or channel code. For example, we can define the stack layout like in this way, and then we can access to the children property and use the add or remove methods to add or remove children to the stack layout. We can, of course, dynamically add views in this view in this way. Also, we can add children using shamel. So we can define the stack layout and put all the children inside and uh, we can add as much children as we want in this way. All these views are added to the children collection. The order in which uh, children will appear is determined by the order in which they were added to the children collection. So in this example, we will see first the silver box view, it's used a rectangle with a color, the blue box view then, and the last one will be the green one. So something like this, first, second, and third. Also, the uh, children can have a spacing, by default have a spacing uh, of six, but uh, we can change this spacing using the spacing property and set any kind of value that we want. This space will be added between each child. The other really, really important property in the stacks layout is the orientation property. The orientation property allow us to choose if we want to use a vertical column or a horizontal row. 
Here in the first example, we are using orientation vertical. So we are stacking the children vertically. And the second one use the horizontal orientation. So we are sticking in horizontally way the child. We can use avoid this directly in .NET map. We using a vertical stack layout. It's the same as use stack layout with the vertical orientation property, or we can use directly an horizontal stack layout with the, uh, it's the same as use the stack layout with the horizontal orientation property. The default value, the default use, if we don't put and specify the orientation property is the vertical value. Then we can also mix the stack layout with different layout uh, orientation options. So we can use, for example, the horizontal options to align the child at the start, center of the end, for example, or just fill the entry space of the stack layout. We have different options. These horizontal options are used by, by a vertical stack layout. So let's take to, to see um, all this in, in an example. Going back to our original example, I now can just wrap all the label tiles directly here in a stack layout. And we can see here now that we are arranged and setting the correct size of and positioning of the children use stacking vertically the child's because the default orientation property is vertical. I can change this using the orientation property where we can use different values, vertical or horizontal, or even I can just use directly an horizontal stack layout. This will avoid to require to put the orientation property because the orientation is set by the name horizontal. If uh, I use hot reload to update this example, now we have a horizontal stack layout aligning and putting the children in an horizontal stack. Then we have, as we told before, the spacing property by default is six, but we can use any other kind of uh, value to set a separation between every child. Going to a more complex example where we can see all the options and properties. We have here another example where we can just check all these properties just using C -sharp code or shamel code. Of course, we can get exactly the same results in both ways. So let's start using a default stack like this. This is this example, vertical stack layout where we have a stack layout without use the orientation property because it's not necessary because we want a vertical stack layout and it's the default value. And we are just putting inside some labels with uh, some box views. So this is the result. Then we can get exactly the same with an horizontal stack layout. The only difference in this case is that we are using the orientation property with the horizontal value. Then, we can use manage the spacing between the child using the spacing property. We have this example here. The main difference is use the spacing property. Then we can, of course, combine different stack layout. For example, we can use a stack layout here that is used stacking vertically all the childs, all these labels, frames, etc. But inside every frame, we are using another stack layout with the orientation horizontal. And this is what is getting us this box view with the color and the label with the color horizontally. Of course, we can also um, align the different childs in different positions at the beginning, at the end, etc. Just using the horizontal options property, star, center, and unfill is use the result that we have in the screen. So the stack layout is a really, really basic layout. It's really easy to understand. It use stack, like the, the naming is telling to us. And in a good combination, 
can achieve a big amount of uh, the requirements of many of the .NET MAUI application screens. The only situation where it's um, a recommendation to avoid is when we are nesting a big amount of stack layout and we can replace this big nesting of views just using another layout. For example, if we are nesting a stack layout with different more stack layouts inside and more stack layouts inside the other stack layout, and we can just chain this using a grid with different rows and columns, and instead of use nesting on several stacks, we can just use a single grid. That's, uh, that's better because we are simplifying the visual hierarchy and that's better thinking in the performance of our application. In the rest of situations, probably you are going to use the stack layout a lot and it's one of the basic but more common use layout in .NET MAUI. If you have learned something new or liked the content, you can subscribe to the channel so that you don't miss new content when it appears. Remember, you can leave your opinion or feedback in the comments of the video. See you soon!